Yes, I'm sure. So we have a few people here. Everyone's camera is dark, so I can't tell who's here. I guess I'm just going to go one by one and say, oh, it's Miguel. <laughs> yes, that camera comes on every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> Only at the special moments. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so Miguel has popped in to say hi to us. Uh, I don't know. Yep. <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to introduce yourself? Or do you know most I... of the students here? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Miguel. I'm from... Dominican Republic. I'm 23 years old. Um, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. now you believe me? Yeah, oh, it is Genesis. Oh, goodness. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so all right. So, Genesis is back. Yeah, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. Welcome back. Thank you. Yes, yes. So I am from the Dominican Republic. Good, nice, nice. So how are you today? I'm doing great. Okay. Did uh, anything special happen today? Hello. Mm, no. Everything is, I could you say, nothing is special. Nothing special. Nothing special. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay. That usually means that it's a good day. Yeah, it's a good day. Good, good. Excellent. Excellent. Darna. Yes. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, welcome back. I enjoyed having you in class. Yes. Me too. So, excellent. Welcome back. So I want to hey, say hi. 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 <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. I want Eli Eliezi. 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 Yeah. Where are you from, Eliezi? Yes. Uh, Venezuela. I'm from Venezuela. 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 Oh, my brother. Hello, yes. sir. Hello. <laughs> I'm very happy to yeah. stay here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad uh, you're here also. What What did you say? Can you repeat it? I said that I am I am also glad that you are here. All right. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. So what do you like to do for fun? Well, to recite the class. OK. Uh, because um, the other men say that it, it is um, like like a competition when you want to inside in the class. You're supposed to wait so much time to gain. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I agree. I agree. This class is definitely more of a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can interrupt. What the topic? What the topic today? Today the topic is sports, actually. Sports? <laughs> sports. Yes, yeah, sports. Um, if <clears throat> let, we we will talk about sports, and it will be interesting to hear everyone's comments on what sports they prefer. I have a list of words involving different sports. But if you guys want to change the topic at any time, that's okay with me. <laughs> yeah, for mine. I think it's the topic is interesting. Good, good. Okay. It's okay. Nice. What are you talking about? Sports. Sports. Sports is our class topic. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so let's. Hey, you. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> you are I here. Can I can see the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
Hi, Franks. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Mm, I'm well. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> are you working right now? No, I'm just preparing my exam. Uh, when I saw you at the list of the class of Kalingo, then I decided <laughs> to join you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. What is so you are preparing for an exam? Uh, many things. I reading something. Uh, re make a review. Uh, write down the list what I have to review. Oh my God! Very much. <laughs> it's really like. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You work so hard, are you? Yeah, yeah. I have to work. It's 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 just to make myself feel comfort like you have a self esteem for yourself it's yes. make yourself uh, what to say like having a yeah like proud to yourself you yes. feel you are valuable to yourself not for everybody to yourself that's what yes. that's why I did it <laughs> I love that yes absolutely <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, Frank. Yes, very good. Yeah, I'm glad to see you here, Frank. Yes, I'm so glad that you joined. You make me mm. smile. Yeah, so <laughs> sweet. <time>. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, Frank is my friend. <laughs> yes. So, you've been busy today. Is it late at night in Indonesia? No, it's no, just... Uh, it's Eleven thirty. Eleven thirty AM. AM. Yep. In my place twelve thirty AM. Oh, it's twelve twenty PM. Twelve. Eleven what are you? Eleven thirty? Eleven thirty. Yeah. Eleven thirty AM. Oh, so no 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 no. Eleven. Eleven ten. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Eleven ten. Because it is, you know, twelve hours of difference. Yeah, for oh, you, yeah. but for exactly. Frank, fifteen hours. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So here it is, ten p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's ten p.m. Thirteen hours down. Mm -hmm. It's quiet here. Cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> What else I, I think that this is a good time to teach because to teach because it's not me, it's not crowded. Yes, yes, everyone is settled. Uh, <laughs> we can just hang out and have no problems. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> but I love noise. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love noise. I love noise, but not all the time. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, sometimes I like it very quiet. Oh, Miguel. Yeah. What did you think about transcendentalism? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read it. I didn't read it. I was <laughs> angry today. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a good... Really good book. I read it in, yeah, but in I college. Have it. I downloaded it. So I yes. have it on the computer. I'm going to read it maybe tomorrow. Oh, in good. The yeah, or in the if you have read it, please tell me. This book oh. is by, yes, Henry David Thoreau. I, I think this is how you spell his name. And trans. Where you are. Transen. Got it. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Oh no. It's a very good book. I want to f follow you. Anyone reply on me? <laughs> I'll reply on you, Anna. I watch your video. Good. Nice. 
Welcome, bro. I'm glad you're watching. <laughs> if you want to speak to us, although you were not able to join, you can just type in the chat room, and I will try my best to respond. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. So, is oh, did I say hi to everyone? Did I see Genesis? Yes. Laura. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you again. Yes, it's nice to see you also. How how was your day? Uh. I'm so well. Um, you know, I'm a little bit sick. Oh, I'm a little bit sick. Um, a little bit stressed. Sick. Sick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have cold. Uh, but I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you have a. How long have you um, had a cold? Two, uh, okay. Two, Two days. days. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Very bad. Yeah. Mm. I know. Did you have some tea today? Uh, yeah. I I take some uh pill for the cold. Oh no, the pills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did they help? Did the pills help? Yeah, yeah, for yeah, help me a lot. Uh, it it was because of the weather. The weather here in my country is a little bit crazy. <laughs> Can you remind me again where you are? Uh, I am from Ecuador. Oh, Ecuador, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. And the weather is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Especially in my city. Mm. Yeah, sometimes we, we, we have a hot day, sometimes we have a rainy day, the other day we have a very cold day. Mm. It's a mixture of the season. <laughs> yes, yes, I understand. Yeah, for that reason, sometimes people get cold. So are you are you outside often? Uh, can you repeat me? Are you indoors for most of the day or outdoors? Yeah, for yeah. Outdoors. Uh, because outdoors. You know, yeah. Because mm. of, most of the time I am in the university, then I go to work. Um, mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you made it. I'm so glad that you decided to spend some time with us. We yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. I really wanted to join your class. Yes. Yeah. Good. So, I want to say I want to say thank you to my sister in the chat room, Ornella. She has sent me some good vibes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. So, okay, so let's meet another student here. Oh, Sofian! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, Sofian. Welcome uh, back. How are you, sir? Peace. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Good. <laughs> good. How was your day? It, it was good. What did you do? I slept. He <laughs> 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 sleeps. He's sleeping. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> nice. Did you uh, hmm, did you get a chance to watch television? Uh yesterday, yes. Oh, yesterday. Because uh, here it's uh, five seventeen a.m. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, welcome to class, my brother. Five in the morning, 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so early to be learning. <laughs> but I'm glad you joined. Thank you. So, everyone, we have a uh, lesson plan here. Oh, Anna, this is your first time in Kalingo. Welcome, my brother. I wish you. I wish I could speak to you. But follow along, and uh, maybe you will enjoy the lesson anyway. <laughs> so. I'm going to start sharing my screen with you guys. Everyone, please make my screen as large as you can so that you can see uh, the information I'm sharing. Okay? So I'm going to share my screen so that you can see today's lesson plan. Okay? All right, and I'm going to make this screen bigger. More. Small. Smaller. Okay, smaller. Yes. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Let me see, please. Okay, I'll bring it up. Great. How's that? Yeah. Good. Clear. <laughs> yes, yes, nice. <laughs> Okay, so I want to start you guys out in just reading the vocabulary uh, and the meaning. Okay? okay. You don't you have don't to read the sentence. You don't have you don't to read have the to sentence. Read. But the sentence is useful in understanding um grammar okay so let's start off here with the first word i'm not going to pronounce it i uh, i will call someone else to pronounce it uh but we will start here and let me pick one of our lovely class members to start us off reading <laughs> hey you Okay. Okay. All right. But so my screen, it's it's disappeared. I don't know. It it disappeared. Okay. Now I can see. Okay. okay. Arena. Okay. And the meaning of arena. Ah. Okay. The arena was full of excited spectators cheering on their theme. Uh, the meaning is. A level area for holding sport events surrounded by seats for spectators. Yes. Your pronunciation of the word spectators is very good. Spectators. Very good. Spectators. Okay. Oh, I'm Thank not you, sure Frank. Who said that. Yes, hey, you. you're welcome. <laughs> Someone said spectators. Was that you, Laura? Spectators. Oh, Darna. Dar spectators. Yes, spectators. Yes. Okay. okay. So, let's go to the next word. I want to hear the pronunciation of this word. Uh, let's see. Darna, can okay. you please... Amateur. Amateur. Jet, am, amateur. Yes. The meaning in in something like playing sports without payment non professional. Yes. Can you read that meaning once more, please? In jets in something in something like playing sports without payment non professional. Yes, a non-professional. Non-professional. Yes. The emphasis on this word is non. Non. <laughs> yes. It's non like professional. Yes. So, okay. Let's go to the sentence. The example the sentence. 
The Olympic Games were originally for amateur athletes only. Nice. Let's repeat the word athletes. Athlete. A person yeah. who trains for a competition in a sport. Yes, yes, perfect. Athletes only. Okay. So an amateur is <laughs> a person that plays the sport, in this case, a person that plays sports without being paid. Okay? So the only difference between an amateur and a professional is money. Okay. Okay. When you get paid, then you're a professional. <laughs> If you don't pay, if you it's don't amateur. get paid, yeah, you're an amateur. Amateur. Yes. So, okay, let's see who's next. All right. I'm going to practice your name one more time until I get it. I have to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta practice it once more. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Eliezi. 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 Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right. <laughs> I'm getting better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eliezi. Okay. All right, my brother. Can you please begin reading uh, at this right. word here? I don't want to. Don't want to pronounce Atli. it. Atli. Atli. Perfect. Mo all right. Most professional athletes spend hours every day in training. Excellent. Now, what does the word athlete mean? What's the meaning? This all right. A person who trains for and competes. Compete. 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 Yes. In a, in a sport. In a sport. So now, <laughs> by this definition, you have to compete against someone All right. in order in order to be an athlete. Uh, do you agree with that? Yes. <laughs> Do you okay, so if you are an athlete, then you should compete against someone. Yeah. This is the uh, objective with, with that. Okay. May you that you can take your measure about your ability. True. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I didn't think of it that way. <laughs> okay, so you can measure your ability. All right, so I'm going to skip the next word because it's just like athlete. And I want to skip it. Beat. Oh, you don't want me to skip it? Yes, just explain one by one. Okay. Athletics. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'll go back. All right. So, Genesis. Yeah. <laughs> Can you please read this term? Yeah. Okay. And, okay. Athletics. Athletics. There are some very good runners on our athletics team. Track and field events of running, jumping, throwing, etc. Perfect. Perfect. Um, if if I didn't know better, I would think that you lived in the U.S. Because of the word, the way you read the word, etc. Oh, thank you. Yep. The first is that I have been uh, studying English for so long, but uh, I have problem with the speaking parts. That's why I'm here improving my English. You're doing well. The yeah. word, 
etc. is hard to pronounce even for Americans. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so let me see who's next. Okay. Yes, it's my buddy Jose. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. All right. Can I say etc.? Okay, I got it. Oh, okay. here it is. Okay, anytime you're ready. Okay, award. All the members of the winning team were awarded a gold medal. And to give someone something as a reward for high achievement. Yes. So, an award is a reward for a high achievement. <laughs> okay. Yes, perfect reading also. Thank Achie you. Yes, achievement. I think that's a difficult word. Would everyone like to pronounce achievement? Achievement. 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 Yes. Yes, that, that's a difficult word. Okay, so hmm. beat. No one uses this word, <laughs> but I will read it anyway. Okay, so let's choose someone. Laura. Okay. Okay, I have a word for you. It is this one. Okay. Uh, beat. Italy beat France to win the 2006 FIFA World Cup. Uh, the meaning to defeat someone in a, in a game or a competition. Perfect. So let's repeat this word. Defeat. 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 Yes, defeat. And let's repeat this. Let's repeat the word competition. 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 Yes, that sounds good. Competition. That's perfect. Okay, good. Excellent. Excellent reading. Sophie Ann. Yes. Sophie. Are you ready to rock? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I'll move this move this up a little bit. Okay. All right. So whenever you're ready, please proceed. Yes. Captain. The captain usually leads his or her team onto the field. The leader of a team. Perfect. I should have I should have put some harder words in there for you. <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> that, was, that was easy. That was very smooth. <laughs> that was smooth. Next time I come back, I'll have a more difficult word for you. <laughs> Just to make it interesting. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Where are we now? Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. Who's... Hello. Mohammed. Yeah, <laughs> Mahmoud. 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 <laughs> Mohammed. Mahmoud. 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 Yeah, I'm ah, But it means, does this, does it still mean Mohammed? No. Mahmoud. Mahmoud. <laughs> Mahmoud. What does it mean? My name and my name, Father. Oh, Ahmad. nice. Nice, bro. Good to meet you. You are a nice teacher and so cute. Yeah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And, and hello, everybody. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hi. I like your hat. Yeah, 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 my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, nice. Thanks a lot. This, where are you this from? Is my first time on Colingo. Oh, oh nice. Where, where are with you from? You, with you and uh, all everybody, you're welcome. I'm very, very happy with you. 
Yes, I'm glad you joined. Thank you, thank you a lot. You are welcome. Yes, welcome, Josie. We are welcoming you. <laughs> you yes. know, you know, I I am from Egypt. Egypt. Yes. Egypt. 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 Nice. Yeah, great. It's exactly, exactly from Cairo. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Cairo. So I have to ask you. Tell me. Thank you. Nice to meet you, teacher. I have to ask you. Have you seen the pyramids? <laughs> you can't miss it, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can listen. I can listen. I can listen and hear you and uh, and watch all video, all cameras, all everybody on this side. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hello, Mahmoud. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Genesis. Nice yes, to meet you. Yes. Nice to meet you, Mahmoud. <laughs> Yes. Welcome, Ahmad. So, what do you like to do? Welcome. Let's back. Let's back studying. <laughs> uh, you want to go back to studying? Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let me type my question. Let me type my question. I am, what I am ready. do you like to do for fun? <laughs> What do you like to do for fun? <laughs> yeah, fun. Uh, stay with us. <laughs> to play with us? Stay, stay with, with us. you. Oh! <laughs> 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 Only friend, not me? <laughs> for yes. fun, stay with you. Yes, to fun, have fun with us. Where is Miguel? Miguel. 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 Yeah. Oh, I he oh, was here today. I saw him today. I thought he was here. <laughs> he, is, he is. He is the one. Give me. Uh, give me this link. Oh, oh nice. nice! That's great. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Miguel is my buddy. Thank you for Miguel. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is my yeah. brother. Nice, nice, nice. Miguel is so cute and uh, fun personality. Yeah. Okay, nice. Not a clap for Miguel, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes <sir>. absolutely. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yield, yield his seat, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Miguel yielded his seat. Oh, that's how nice. <laughs> nice, excellent, good. Yes, yes, AU. What's next, teacher? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? What's next, teacher? What is? Can you type it? I want some study. Oh, what will I be teaching? Okay, you want some studying? No problem. Um, yes. uh, your uh, award, yeah. Some yes. more this. Some more this. Okay, let's let's practice some vocabulary. Okay. I will, yes. I will continue to share my screen. I'll go back. Okay. 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 All right. So. Here we go. We are at yeah. this word. And Ma'amud, can you yeah. please read? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Please read. Catch. Catch. Nice. Nice. Can you read this sentence, please? Yeah, to grab and hold something that has been thrown. Yes. Now let's okay. repeat this word. Let's repeat the word grab. 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 Yeah. Mamu. Okay, one. Say, say gr grab. Grab. No. Um, say roll. 
Rock. Say rabbit. Rabbit. Uh, hmm. Pra no. Practice the R sound. Practice the R sound without. Practice the R sound. Like rabbit, rap, rap music. Do you like rap? Rap music, yeah. Rap yes. music. Rap no, music. Not, not rap. 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 No. R r rap. rap. Yes, rap. 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 Music. Okay. Yes, yes. Hip, hip hop. Yes. Come on now. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay. So grab and so hold grab. something. So grab and hold something. Yes, yes, very good, very good. Yes, I get so it. Grab, to yeah. grab and hold. To catch is to grab and hold something that has been thrown. Okay, nice. Nice, okay. I get it. Good. So let's go to the next word. And we will, we will ask uh, another student to read. Let's ask, uh, let's ask Sophie in. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Sophie in, can you please read? <laughs> <laughs> this word. Can you pronounce it for us, please? Champion. Yes. Okay, and this definition? A top rated, highly successful player. Perfect, very clear pronunciation. Okay, this is a difficult sentence. Let's see, can you please read this sentence? The boxer Muhammad Ali was the world heavyweight champion three times. Perfect. <laughs> I thought this sim sentence would be difficult, <laughs> but, but it was easy for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. You did a great job. <laughs> so has everyone gotten a chance to read at least once? I want to try something new. Let's see. Who Has everyone read? Yeah. Mahmoud, are you leaving? Yeah, I have some work. Oh my goodness. Okay. Nice meeting you. Come nice back if you can. Nice to meet you. Nice Mahmoud to meet you Ahmed. Nice to meet you. Peace, bro. Come back when you Good. can. Yeah. Okay, okay. Goodbye. See you later. See you soon. Okay. So you guys, let's, uh, since everyone has read at least once, let's start. <laughs> I saw this link on the side that will give us the chance to take a quiz. So would you guys, no, no, no. Would you like to take a quiz yes. and answer one question or would you like to learn some sports idioms? Idioms. 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 All right. So we have, have a list of sports idioms here. I wonder, <laughs> there are so many in the U.S. I'm, uh, Sport of origin, okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's start from the top. <laughs> okay. I yes, at this stage in the game. What does this mean when someone says, at this stage in the game? What does it mean? At this time. At this time. Yes, at this time. Okay, good. Now let's go to the next. 
the ball is in your court. What does that mean? You it's have your decision. Oh, that, I, I, can you? Okay, it's it all went decision. too fast. It's your. Can you repeat that, Darna? It's your decision. It is your decision. De de decision. Decision. Yes. Great definition. It is your decision. Okay. All right, good. So let's go back. Bark up the wrong tree. <laughs> what does that mean? You have got the wrong person for idea. Um, yes, it means that when you are searching for the answer, you are searching in the wrong place if you are barking up the wrong tree. Barking up the wrong tree means searching for the answer in the wrong place. Okay. Uh, let's try this word, this idiom, blind decided. Do not say something coming. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> when something is unexpected um, and you had no idea. Then you were blind sided. Okay? You were totally blind. Okay? You didn't see that side of it. All right. <coughs> so, this is not fair because you guys can read the definitions right next to it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys are a step ahead of me. <laughs> I'll just find some difficult ones. I will find some difficult words. Let me scroll down here. Okay. Down to the wire. I see the definition, but I wonder if you could describe it better in better terms for me. Down, down to the wire. Who can express what that word, what that idiom means? Down to the wire. Maybe Down. It's, mm. Yes. Yeah, maybe it's when you have a goal to achieve, you will do everything to 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 achieve that goal. Yes. Yes. But. It's more like you have a goal um, and you are almost at the point of completion, but at the very precious moment before you complete your goal, this is uh, the moment that we're describing, the moment that is down to the wire the most important moment. Okay. So down to the wire is the most important moment in reaching your goal. The good part. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, this is easy, but you guys should be familiar with this term, so I will review it. A front runner. What is a front runner? The person oh, wow. that is looking forward to win. Yes, yes. But let's say, um, can you give me an example of a front runner? Okay. Let's Which? say it's a front runner in my country. Can you? A front runner. 
So oh, let me give you let me give you a few examples of a front runner. Um, going with this definition, a person who is expected to win. You see this word often in politics. For example, when the presidential election is when when we were voting for the president in the United States, uh, the President Obama was the front runner of his political party. So he's the person that's expected to win uh, from his political party. I don't know why they call it a political party because they don't seem to be having any fun. <laughs> Was that corny? Was that a bad joke? <laughs> That's... <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. Uh, get a head start. Oh, no, no, no. Let me pick. Let me choose a better one. to get off the hook. What does this idiom mean to get off the hook? To escape or have responsibility removed. <laughs> <laughs> In essence, yes. <laughs> yes, but I will give an example. Okay. So, for example, um, my son needs to go in the kitchen and wash the dishes. However, uh, the kitchen is being used right now. I'm using the kitchen right now. So he is unable to wash the dishes. For this reason, he got off the hook. He has escaped his responsibility. He got off the hook. Okay. All right. Is is that clear? Did I did I explain that thoroughly? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Oh. Okay. Here's a good one. It's to get a second wind. What does that mean? To get a second win. A second breath? Yes, a second. I'm listening. A break, maybe? To get a break? Yeah. Burst. Yeah, well, in essence, yes. Yes. It's to have, okay, to, to get your second win, the definition says it's when you get a burst of en energy. Um, so, for example, uh, let's say today, uh, today I was very tired. Okay, I had to work all day, and I got very tired. However, when I got home from work, and I took my shoes off and ate some food after after doing those things I got a burst of energy has this ever happened to you where you get a burst of energy after you get tired you might come back from work or something and I don't know you just get refreshed Okay, this is a second win okay. to be refreshed. Refreshed. Okay. All right, so I'll I'll share again. Okay. <laughs> oh, now this is one that you may hear. 
to give someone a run for their money. What does that mean? Can you give an example of giving someone a run for their money? So, <laughs> well, yes. when you want that someone win a running for you, and you try to say, hey, you're supposed to do it. I'm going <laughs> to give you something of money because I, I, because I am betting. So you, you're supposed to to, uh, to to win that run. It, it is good. Yes, you are supposed to win that one. Yes. And it you is... try to give money to other, to someone. Well, it's close, very close, very close. Okay. But here is the better definition. To give someone a run for their money is like, uh, let's say uh, you have a best friend and, and you guys compete with each other. You play uh, soccer against one another every day. You try to beat your friend, he tries to beat you every day. <laughs> <laughs> and some sometimes the games are really close. Uh. That means he's giving you a run for the money. Okay? So if I were betting on the winner between you and your friend, let's say you win, but uh. your friend your friend was very close <laughs> so it means that he made you run to get the money mm -hmm. okay he gave you a run for your money okay yes usually after taking a shot oh my goodness I must be jumping into the wrong conversation <laughs> no no one gives you a run for your money after taking a shower that's mm -hmm. that's that's probably a crime somewhere. <laughs> Don't chase me out of the shower. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, AU, you're having some internet difficulties. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'll see you later. <laughs> so okay, let's go back to our screen. Oh, it's about the second wind. Yes, Anna. Yes. Perfect description. So here's Anna's definition of the term second wind. Okay. If Anna is tired and she has a long day, uh, after a shower, after she comes back and relaxes and takes a shower, she might just get a burst of energy. You know? She might get a burst of energy. So, our class is coming to an end, but I want to get in a few more vocabulary terms. Uh, yeah. I'll try to go a little faster. All right. What does it mean to have the upper hand? To have the upper hand. To have the advantage. To win. You have an advantage. And you have a better opportunity in order to win. Yes, yes. You have some advantage over the other player. You have an advantage. Okay, good. What does it mean to go to bet for someone else? You find someone. <laughs> <laughs> Your reading is excellent. <laughs> yes, yes, it does mean that, honestly. Uh, so, for example, if someone is talking 
badly about your friend, but your friend isn't there, uh, and you say, hey, don't talk like that about my friend, that's a good friend of mine, then you defended them and you went to bat for them. Okay. All right. What does it mean to hit below the belt? It's like to build someone an unfair blow, right? To cheat. Yeah. To cheat. That's what it means. To cheat. Okay. To cheat. Uh, in martial arts, in like boxing and everything, it 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 is quite literal. Okay, the word literally means to uh, hit or kick below the belt line, <laughs> and that is foul. That is cheating. That's a painful way to cheat. Okay, so. What does it mean to hit a snag? Get problem. To come up against a problem. Yes. When you hit a snag, it it usually means to stop all progress for a moment until the problem is solved. Okay. So when you hit a snag, it usually means all progress will stop until the problem is solved. The problem is not major. It's only a snag. Like getting your sweater uh, caught, um, caught on a nail. Okay. It doesn't have to be a big deal, but you don't want to keep walking until you've pulled your sweater away. Okay. All right. Hmm. Let's go down a bit to some more frequently used terms. All right. Now. To keep one's head above water. Has anyone heard this term before? Keep mm. your head above water? No. No. Can you imagine what it means? Keep your head. 